Welcome to the second foundation video. I'm your host again, Robert Pipus with Eagle Eye Bookkeeping Services. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up customers and properties in QuickBooks Online for real estate agents. Last time we went over the setup process for the chart of accounts. I just wanted to mention, because I don't think I did in the last video, that with the purchase of the full course on how to get set up with QuickBooks Online, I will include the chart of accounts upload. And just to reiterate another point from the last video, because I feel this is such an important topic, we went over the purpose of an accounting system, and that everything we do should accomplish two things. One, to have reports that give a fair and accurate picture of your business, and two, give you reports that you can use to help make better decisions for your business, which will in turn help increase your equity, and that at the end of the day is what we all want. So the reports being the end result of what we want to accomplish, we have to make sure that the information that we're putting in is correct and put in in a manner in which we will get the desired outcome. There is a phrase in the reporting world or the accounting world that garbage in, garbage out. And that's why I'm putting the emphasis on the foundation aspects first. As the videos progress, we'll be doing less of the PowerPoint presentation and more of the QuickBooks Online demonstrations. With setting up the customers and properties in QuickBooks Online, what we are doing is directing certain information to reports by way of entering into an invoice. And just like I stated earlier, we want to make sure that the information we are putting in is correct and put in in a manner in which we will get the desired outcome. And this is the prime example of that. So without further ado, I will explain what we will be doing and actually do an example of it. What we want to do is set up the properties in the customers section of QuickBooks Online and link the properties to a customer. We will also link all the customers to a specific brokerage. So don't worry if this doesn't seem clear at the moment, it will all make sense when we actually do it. Nothing we will do will be overly complicated and will be easy once you know how to do it. We will also show what it looks like to have one customer with multiple properties. The importance of setting it up this way is not only for reporting reasons, but let's say you sold a customer a house three years ago and now they're getting a job transfer to another state and now they want you to put the house up on the market. You will already have them as a customer in your database and all you have to do is add the property again, but this time as a listing. So let's get started with the demonstration. The first thing we will start with is creating a broker that we will put the customers into. And to do that, we will click Customers and New Customer. For the broker, all we're doing is creating a folder or bucket that we're going to put the actual customers into. So for this, we don't need anything on their first name or last name, but we will do something under the company name and type in um, broker example number two. And as soon as we click away from that field, the broker's name shows up as the display name, which is exactly what we want. We don't need anything under the billing address or shipping address or phone number for the, at this point, and we don't need anything under a sub customer. This is very sim. The sub customer is very similar to the sub account when we went over the chart of accounts where we had sub accounts under parent accounts. So now that the broker is set up, all we're going to do is hit save. And when we go back under the customer section, you will see that broker example number two is set up here. So now what we need to do is set up a customer underneath the broker example number two. And to do that, we're just going to click on customers again and click on new customer. And this time, this is where we're going to put in the first name and last name of the actual customer. And for this example, we will use Jill O'Connor. You don't need anything under the company name and the display name will be the customer's name. We don't need anything under the billing address or shipping address, but for a best practice, what I would do is type in an email address or cell phone number here 
so that you have a backup of, your, of their contact information. And at this point, this is where we're going to click on the sub customer because we we're going to put Jill O'Connor, our customer, underneath the broker's account. So for the enter parent customer box here, what are we, we are going to put under um, the broker example number two that we named the broker. And we will hit save. So that now, when we go back to customers, we have customer Jill O'Connor underneath broker example number two. And then now to set up a property for Jill O'Connor, we will click customers and click new. And under the company name, we're going to put the street address. Uh, we'll use the example that we had in the beginning where a customer bought a house and then three years later that customer wanted you to list the house so under the company address or the under the company name we're going to type in the name of the address for this example we use 523 main street and that shows up as a display name and under the sub sub customer we're going to check that box and we're going to type in um, Jill O'Connor and we'll hit save so now when we go back to customers under broker example number two we have Jill O'Connor and 123 Main Street but actually we're going to go in and edit the property address and make a distinction that this was a buyer. So that when we go back to customers, we'll have the B in front of the address to indicate that it's a buying, it's a buyer and not a listing. So now three years have passed since Jill O'Connor had purchased 523 Main Street. And what we're going to do is create a new customer and a new property for 523 Main Street. But this time, we're going to put an L to indicate that this was a listing. And we're going to click sub customer. for the customer that we had for Jill O'Connor under broker example number two and we hit save and when we go back to customers you can see here that we have the broker example number two so that's going to be the broker's name that you're hanging your license at and while you're working at and as you were working at the broker's name here, you acquired a customer, Joe O'Connor, who purchased 523 Main Street and then also listed 523 Main Street. And you can see here that Jill O'Connor is indented a little bit underneath the broker. That indicates that Jill O'Connor was a customer while you were working at that particular brokerage. If we scroll up here to broker number one, you can see that we had multiple customers, Amy Landers, David Childs, Joe Smith, Casey Miller, Patrick Jones, all of which either bought or listed properties associated with that customer with that broker. And this is how you set up your customers and listings in QuickBooks Online for real estate agents. What this will do is set the framework up for a bunch of cool reports and help you structure your data in QuickBooks Online. There's also another step in helping you to be able to create the invoices that affect the output of your financial statements. We will see this all linked together when we create an invoice in another lesson. And in the end, as business owners, 
your financial statements, besides showing you a clean and accurate picture of your business, can also be used as a tool to help you make the best decisions for you and your business. And in order to do that, we need the reports and data to analyze. And knowing this, we are one more step closer to getting you the information that you need. So I hope you found these free informational videos informative. We, have, we do have a full course outline available on this page for you to download and review. QuickBooks Online is a powerful system when set up and used properly to getting you the reports to analyze your business. Take your business to the next level in order today. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to shoot me an email at robert.pipus at eagleeyebookkeepingservicesllc.com or call my cell phone at 919-610-0192. And we can work with you to set your business up on QuickBooks Online. And once again, I thank you. I hope you learned something new today and hope that you have a fantastic day.